Eric, well, you, you yeah. see now we're going into the, uh, the Arab market, walking sure, down towards sure. the Kotel. You can see already how dense the area is. Yeah. Tourists coming left and right, yeah. busy stalls, very, very low level of mo mobility. It's very difficult uh, close quarters for, for security action. You can see, Hanan, and look, you can see how it could just kind of come up on you suddenly. Absolutely. I mean, there's, there's people, it's tightly, it's densely packed. There's people on either side. People are moving fast. There's a lot of noise. This is a challenge to police. We are the only organization that has access to actually have activities within within the old city and within the Western Wall. Wow. We work specifically with a uh, That's David. A huge deal. It is a huge deal. You know, they call us when they know that there's gonna be a, a special event, yeah. or they know that there's gonna be some type of action that might provoke some type sure. of uh, aggression. Right, and as you said, it, the Temple Mount is the flashpoint. Absolutely. And that for you guys, as, a, as a, a relatively young organization, Hanan, to be the only volunteer organization to have that access, wow. It speaks, uh, it speaks miles to the capabilities of what we're, we're, we're able to do. And your personnel. I mean, the volunteers, as we said, you know, these are high-level guys. Uh, guys and girls, men and women, Absolutely. with, with uh, great experience. We have uh, people that, all of the volunteers have different specialities. We have uh, crime scene investigators. We have bomb squad uh, people. We have from all the top units in different areas of focus that, that will round out our group to have exper expertise in in uh, urban situations right. as well in in uh, more dense you know populated areas. Yeah, you think of urban warfare, guerrilla exactly. warfare. I mean, this is wow. It doesn't get more urban th than this. The the old city of Jerusalem. So as we're walking a little bit further down into the Arab market, we're coming up to the place here where in October 2015, the Benita family was returning from prayers at the Western Wall. Yeah. They were coming up from uh, from this area down deeper into the Shuk and the terrorist came from over here. He ran out, yeah, right over here, and he uh, stabbed the father. The mother escaped to try and uh, get some help, got a neighbor from upstairs. That neighbor was stabbed as well, and he was right, uh, we're standing right, right here. Now. He was murdered. The terrorist managed to escape up, up the stairs here and was subdued by police out uh, by Jaffa Gate. Now, this shows us why it's so important for us to have uh, this ATV unit operational with Rapid it. response. Rapid response. There's nobody else. There's no ATVs within the police uh, unit, within the police division. All of the uh, Israeli police. Well, Hanan, we are here right now with the brave men and women of the Yatar Volunteer Force. Tell us what kind of gear you need. You were describing to do your crucial work in places like the old city of Jerusalem. What do you need? What's the kind of gear you guys need to get the job done? Well, absolutely. The first thing is what we get from the police is we get the police infrastructure that we have all of the uh, information coming to us about the attacks. We're working hand in hand with each police division. What's important to, to note is that all of the, the gear that, that he has here is uh, purchased privately for, for the units. Aside for the, uh, his, uh, the gun, which is given by the police, yeah. we have all of the, the, the vest that he has now, the protective vest, mm -hmm. is Kevlar, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to upgrade that. We have to have a, a, a neck uh, that is uh, blocking from stabbing attacks, as well as a ceramic plate that's inserted to protect uh, protect them from stabbing. This stabbing intifada, Hanan, has really changed the game, hasn't it? Absolutely. I has. mean, because as you're describing here, you guys need this on your neck, the vest, uh, specifically to protect against those uh, knife thrusts. Makes profiling really difficult because it could yeah. be anyone. It could, it could be, be a child. It could be, it could be a woman. woman. It could and be a man. That. We and have we, seen that. We have seen that. It could be a woman, a child, and a knife is relatively easy to conceal. Absolutely. Everything that they have, from the jackets to the radios, flashlights, yep. belts, down to the 511 uh, tactical boots, yep. are all top line equipment that they need to be able to, uh, to do the work, to I do the very job. safe right now, by the way. You are the safest place you could be <laughs> oh, in all of Jerusalem at the moment. <laughs> I thank you. Well, Hanan, thank you so much for your great work. Keep it up at Yatar. Uh, God bless you. We really appreciate it. You, thank you. Thank you, thank you Hanan. Much. Appreciate it. Thanks to our friends at Yatar Israel for letting us spend some time with them on patrol. You know, folks, I've said here on the show that I feel safer in Jerusalem at night than I do in New York City, Chicago, or L.A., and now you can see why. Well, coming up after the break, are you tired of hearing how Israel is the problem in the Middle East? Well, Kufai's David Bragg is back to help us reclaim the truth about Israel and its history. Don't move.